I just ran a 119.59 half marathon, and in this episode, I want to share three reflections from the experience that you can apply to any area of your life to be more successful. A little bit of a different episode of Cold Wisdom here because I'm currently in my sauna at 200 degrees. So we'll see how long this camera lasts before it gets overheated, but let's dive into these three reflections. So the first one is something from one of my baseball coaches from back in the day. We used to travel all over the place to these games, and he always had this saying that I thought was really funny at the time, but now I reflect on it as being really profound, which was, we came all this way, so we might as well win, was what he used to say. We came all this way, so we might as well win. And the idea was sort of simple. It was like, you put in all this work, you did all these things, you went through all these hard workouts, practices, focus work sessions, early mornings, all of these things. Now it's time. Now you're under the lights. Now the experience is there. So you might as well win. You might as well do your best. You might as well show up in the way that you want to show up in this situation. I got to go back up. It's much hotter where it's up. And I thought that that was such a profound idea and one that we all need to embrace a little bit more. All of you that are watching this are on your journey. You're putting in all of that work. So when it comes time for the lights to be on, when it really, really counts, you came all this way, so you might as well win. That's reflection number one. Reflection number two, you need to build your evidence pool. David Goggins calls this the cookie jar. It's like your pool of evidence that you are capable of much more than you think, that you can survive those really hard times, those stressful situations, those painful situations, and get through them. I think of that constantly, not even for the most obvious reason, though. What I think about is when I'm going through these tough things, like this race today, it was really painful, terrible. From miles 8 to 10, I was really in a dark place, questioning my decisions, mental gymnastics, rolling. I don't need to do this. Why am I doing this? All sorts of stuff like that. When that happens, what I remind myself is this race isn't just about this race. It's about the application of what I'm going to do here to everything else in my life. It's about the fact that if I can push through this, I'm going to know later that I can push through whatever the next hard thing is that comes into my life, whatever that next struggle is, I'm going to be capable of breaking through that, of bursting through it, and of achieving whatever it is I'm trying to achieve or of defeating whatever stress I'm trying to defeat. So the race in the moment is not just about the race. Yes, I want to achieve this goal, which was to go sub 120. Yes, I want to do that. But it's about much more than that. It applies so much more broadly than to just that race. And when you create that higher power, that higher order vision for what you're doing, for the struggle that you're going through, when you realize that the struggle that you're going through is actually about a whole lot more than just this current struggle, It's about getting through it to prove to yourself something that will come and create value in your life for years and years to come. When you remember that, you have so much more strength during the present struggle than you ever would otherwise. So that's how I think about that. That is something that we all need to think about and implement into our own lives. That's reflection number two. Reflection number three and the final reflection here. I asked two of my friends to come out and run this race with me today. Neither one of them had ever run a half marathon before, and they both said yes in an instant to coming out and doing it. It was two hours away from home on a Sunday morning. They're early 30s guys. They had to wake up at five, get in a car with me, carpool up to struggle and suffer through a painful experience running your first half marathon when neither one of them had really trained for it in any significant degree. They were also willing to push me, willing to tell me I had to keep pushing. I had to get through this race. I had to do it. Don't soften up when it comes down to it, when you feel the pain. It is an enormous life hack to find friends in your life that are willing to tell you the truth, that are willing to push you to be better than you are today. One friend who's willing to tell you the truth willing to hold you to the fire and hold you accountable is worth a thousand friends who just pat you on the back and tell you you're doing great. It's nice to have cheerleaders. It's nice to have people who will tell you that things are good, but you need the people that will tell you the truth. You need the people that will push you to be better, to do more, to do better than you're currently doing.
because that truth is what allows you to level up in everything that you do. So find those friends. Find the friends that say yes to doing the crazy thing and will also hold you accountable, will also push you to be better and to do more than you're currently doing. If you find those people, it's an unbelievable unlock for your life. Your values will attract those people to you. When you're doing hard things, when you're putting those positive, big thinking values out into the world, you will find those people. They will be attracted to you. You don't need to necessarily be pushing, going out and seeking them as much. Put yourself in positions where those values are on display. At the gym, in co-working spaces, at events, put your values on display and you'll attract the right type of people to you. Those were my three reflections from what was honestly a pretty miserable and painful experience. I don't think I've had that much pain and misery in a race that I've run, including my marathon. It was really dark, and I had to go really dark in order to get through it. I'm glad I made it through. I'm glad I hit my goal. But man, it was a lot of suffering. A lot of evidence that I'm going to draw upon later, and I knew that, that reflection number two, that higher order value of what I was doing in the moment. So I hope those three reflections, you can find how they might be able to apply to your life and apply them in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And as always, until next time, I guess I'm going to say let's get cold, but I'm sweating buckets in this sauna. So I don't know if we need to rebrand, but we'll keep it rolling. Let's get cold. I am doing a contrast therapy session, so I can legitimately say let's get cold. Let's get cold. (laughs) Have a great night, everybody.